वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11-13 सो स्टेटमेंट इज सिलेक्ट द लाइटेस्ट स्टील वाइड फ्लैंज बीम फ्रॉम अपेडनिक्स बी दैट विल सेटिस्फाई दैट विल सेफली सपोर्ट द लोडिंग शोन द अलावेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज 22 के एस आई एंड अलावेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज 12 के एस आई इफ देर आर सेवरल चॉइसिस ऑफ इक्वल वेट चूज द वन विद द शॉर्टेस्ट हाइट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अम्पली सपोर्टेड बीम ए बी वेयर different points loads are applied at different location you can check the dimensions over here so you have to select the lightest white flange beam for the given loading so let's start with the solution the first step is that if what if we remove the support at point a so definitely there will be a reaction force at point a as well as if we remove the support from point b so there will be a reaction force at point b so we will first find them by using equation of equilibrium equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moments about point b is equal to 0 taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so you can see that at point b we have this is the point b first moment is r a into perpendicular this this distance is 16 the second moment which is due to this load and perpendicular distance is this one which is 12 feet the third one is this load and perpendicular distance is 8 feet and the fourth one is this one and perpendicular load is 4 feet all these three forces are producing counter clockwise moment that will be positive while this will produce a clockwise so it will be negative so their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write it minus 16 into ra because this is clockwise rotation plus 4 into 12 so from this point till this point this is 12 plus 10 into 8 Plus six into four, their sum must be equal to zero. So when you solve this, you will get R A will be equal to nine point five kips. Okay. Now we will find uh, R B. So by using another equilibrium condition, that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and taking the upward forces. positive so you can see one force is this one other is this one and three forces are downward their sum must be equal to 0 so r a is 9.5 minus this 4 kips minus 10 kips minus 6 kips plus r b is equal to 0 so from here you will get r b will be equal to 10.5 kips now you have both these forces this is 9.5 kips this is 10.5 kips so by using this we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so take this vertical line from the end of this beam as well as from this end so first we will draw the shear force diagram this along this we will take the distance of beam in feet so at point a we have let each division is 5 kips so where we have shear force in kips so this will be 10 similarly minus 5 and minus 10 okay so at point a you can see you have 9.5 so 9.5 will be this point now from moving from point a till this load there is no other force so it will remain same till this point okay so i will draw a horizontal line this will be 9.5 now at you can see that at this point we have a load of 4 kips so 9 minus 4.5 will be equal to 5.50 Uh, not not 4.5 9.5 minus 4 is equal to 5.5 so shear force will go to 5.5 so let this is 5.5 this point there again moving from this load to this load there is no other force so it will remain same 
so 5.5 will remain same till this length this is 5.5 again at this point we have a load of minus 10 kips that is downward so 5.5 minus 10 will be equal to minus 4.50 so shear force will remain will change to this point this point is 4.50 so it will change to this okay this is minus 4.5 now from this load to this there is no other so it will remain same horizontal line till this point Again, here you can see you have a load of 6 kips. So, minus 6, minus 4.5 will give you minus 10.5. So, load will change to 10.5. So, it will come down. This is minus 10.5. And remaining this will be, there is no change. So, 10.5 will remain same. And you can see that at end you have plus 10.5. So we, it, it means that you are going in correct direction. Now we will draw the bending moment diagram for the, from this. So I, again I have to draw a horizontal line x in feet and where you will take the moment in kips into feet. So at point first point you will have zero moment now the first area under the shear force diagram is this one which is 9.5 multiply by this length 4 which will be 38 so let each division is equal to third you can see 20 20 30 60 so first is 38 so 38 point will be somewhere here let's say this is the point now you can see this is a straight line and this area is positive so the first uh, the bending moment will be the first degree line and slope will be increasing so i will join them okay so this is the first point this is 38 now the second area is this one this area and this area is equal to 5.5 multiplied by the length which is 4 feet and it will give you 22 so 38 plus 22 will give you 60 so again at a length of 8 feet which is actually this one so it will be 60 this will be 60 let this point is 60 so you have to join them by using a straight line because the area is positive the third area is this one which is again this is equal to minus 4.5 multiplied by 4 is equal to minus 18 so 60 minus 18 will equal to 42 so at this point we will have 42 so let this is 42 for example if you draw it so again you have to join them now the slope will be decreasing because this area is negative and the last one is this area so this area is minus 10.5 into 4 is equal to minus 42 so here you have 42 and here you have minus 42 or this area is minus 42 so i will write it 42 and this area is minus 42 so 42 minus 42 will bring it to zero so we will get at the end we will get this straight line okay this is zero now this is your bending moment diagram so we'll proceed further uh, as we have been given um, um, allowable stress that is 22 ksi clear and bending moment maximum from this diagram is 60 kips into feet so 60 kips into feet so it will be converted if we multiply it with 12 inch so it will be 60 into 12 will be, the unit will be in kips into inch now we know that section modulus required section modulus for the beam is equal to maximum bending moment divided by 
allowable stress. So this is 60 multiplied by 12 inch divided by 22 KSI. So again, you will get required section modulus is equal to 32.73 inch. Now we have to move to the appendix B of the book, Kinex of material by R.C. Hibbler, and we will choose the choices. If you have several choices of equal weight, then we will select the shortest height. So let's move and we will get, you have to remember 32.73. So you can see this is the book. You can go at the end, that is appendix B. Now 32.7. So this is the column. Let me choose marker. So you can see this is the column where you can select S. So 32.7, one value which is closer to 32.7 is 35 and 35.3 is greater. So it means that W14 by 26 can be used. So you can remember this value SX, its depth 13.91 and its thickness of web is this. This is your option number one. If we go down, so you can also check over here 32.5 and 33.4 is greater than this. So you can choose this as well. So you have to, this is its height and this is thickness of web. So this is option number two, clear. So we will write both the options, both values clear. So from appendix B, we select the first option was w 14 by 26 its sx was 35.3 cubic inch its height is 13.9 inch and thickness of web is 0 0.255 inch while option number two is w 12 by 26 sx was 33.4 cubic inch height of this beam is 112.22 inch and thickness of web is 0 0.230 inch so these were the two choices now you can see that between these two choices, both this value shows the uh, weight per, per feet. So both have the same weight and both SX are greater than the required, which is 32.73. So both can be used. But in question, it is given that choose the one which having shorter shortest shortest height so you can see this is 12.22 and this is 13.9 so we will choose option number two two so choose or select w 12 by 26 for the given loading and conditions so in this we have completed this problem 11-13 and i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, do comments on my video if like if you like them and those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification about the latest videos thank you for watching